In this video, I will show you how to create and save a file and go through some basic file management tasks with you. To switch to the Microsoft Office apps from the OneDrive window, you can click the App Launcher and you can select any one of the apps that you see here. However, if you already have a folder structure set up, you can also go to the folder that you want the file to be stored and you can create the file from that location. I'm going to go ahead and click Computer Literacy and then I'm going to click the Word folder. This is where I want my file to be stored so at this point I can open up Microsoft Word and when I save the file it's going to go into this folder. So I'm going to click New and then I'm going to click Microsoft Word document and now it opens the online Word app. Now remember the apps that you work in online are not full functionality. You only have some of the Microsoft capabilities. If you wanted the full functionality of Microsoft Word, you would have to download the desktop version. The online app is great when you're on the go. You can open up the files that you created in your desktop version, and you can make some basic edits to those documents. Up here in the blue bar is your title bar. You'll notice the app launcher is listed there and at any point you can go back to any one of these apps including the OneDrive window that we were just in. One thing that's different about working with Word Online is that you can click in the title bar and you can save the title of your document. I'm going to call this document to-do list. I just type the name and then click into my document and it saves the file name. At this point, anything that I do in this document will automatically be saved. When you're working in the Microsoft Office Online apps, your work saves continuously. Now I'm going to type my to-do list. So today I need to record a video, give the dog a bath. Now that I have my list typed, I'm going to go ahead and do some basic formatting. I'm going to select to-do list and I'm going to click B for bold. Now you can see it's darker. I'm going to go ahead and use the underline button. I'm going to change the font size. I can change the font style. We can change the color. We can highlight something. We can also select our list and apply a numbering format. So those are just some basic formatting features that are available to you when you're working in Microsoft Online. Now I'm going to go ahead and close out of this document. It takes me back to OneDrive and there is my to-do list. If I click on it, it opens a new tab and it opens the Microsoft Word program online and I can close it out. Now we're going to talk about some basic file management tasks that we can do with this file. You'll notice that if you hover your mouse over the document, you'll get a little circle. If you click in that circle, you'll see this new toolbar that's available to you. So our options are to click open and open the document online. You can share a file. If you click the share button, you'll notice right here it says anyone with the link can edit. You can click this and you can change permissions like allowing people to edit or not. Alternatively, you can click the copy link which provides a link to the file and whoever you share this link with would be able to open and edit the file based on the permissions you set. If you have a file that is stored online that you would like to download to your hard drive, you just click the download button. This is how you would delete the file. You also have the ability to move a file to a different location. You can see that I'm in My Files Computer Literacy Word. If I want to move this file into the Computer Literacy folder, I would simply click Move To. I would select the location that I want my file to be moved. Let's say I want it to go to any one of these folders. I would select that folder and then I would click the Move button. 
You can also drag and drop a file onto a specific folder. The Copy To feature allows you to duplicate the file, so I would click Copy To. I could select the location that I want to copy the file to, so let's say I just want it to go into computer literacy. I could choose Copy, and now when I click in the computer literacy folder, there's my to-do list. You'll notice there's a slight delay when you're making copy and paste changes online. You can also rename a file. You can click on the file and choose Rename, and you can type in the new name of the file. And then click Save. So those are just some basic file management skills that you have available to you. One last thing that I do want to show you is that if you're inside the file and you have the file open, you can just share the file from this location. You could click the Share button right here, and you'll notice you have the same type of sharing link with the same um, capabilities here. So again, it's just Share, and then you would type in the email address of the person you want to share with, or multiple people, and the message, and you would click Send. And that's it.